Oh, fuck. Please be dumb as rocks. 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 Be dumb as rocks. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Welcome back to more Alien Isolation. In the last episode, we did stuff, and in this episode, we're going to continue to do stuff. Uh, specifically take the transit to the Psymed Tower, which is that one, and this little thingy, so that we can go meet up with, uh, Samuels? And Taylor, I think? Is she still alive? Lawyers. Who cares? Ripley is not a violent person, but will defend herself if need be. Tell that to the me from the last episode, who shot the shit out of like 17,000 androids. And I'm now like completely out of revolver ammo, which is fine. Survival horror doesn't mean manage your resources. Surely that's not a thing that's a cardinal part of the genre. That's not a thing at all. Oh, great. Oh. I didn't expect you guys to be right here. How's it going, pal? And Ripley. not pal? Is that Ripley? Ooh, you are not looking so good. Try and rest, Dad. How is she? She needs treatment. Medical's nearby, but I didn't want to leave her. I'll go and investigate. See what I can find. You stay with her. I'll try to repair the radio booster. What if this creature shows up? Hide. Unauthorized security breach detected. All transit shut down by order of Apollo. Fantastic. Just wonderful. Okay. Stay with me, Taylor. Ripley's finding help. Ripley's finding help. Is, yeah, that's the way we're supposed to go for our, object, our objective. Service offline. I want to see if I can see, like, a map thing. There's little time to waste, Ripley. Yeah, there's a little time for you to waste, Ripley. Tower link. Sure, we'll do a little save, even though we just got a save, so we're probably fine, but, you know, it's better safe than not safe. So I wonder what's up here. Looks like a big, fat nothing so far. Which is cool, I guess. Can't go in here. Says keep out. Let me hit him with the old... Ye old w two singular bullets. Can't do that because I need to restore power. So this was a big, gigantic waste of my time. Which is perfectly cool. So let's just sprint, you know, balls to the wall over here. Alright. San Cristobal Medical. Oh. Huh. Well, there's the map thing. Can't make any more scrap. Wrong button. Can I make any more stuff? I could make a thing... Could also make, uh, could make a noise maker, which might actually be useful here in a minute. Might be useful to make some noise, draw the alien away. Locked. Locked. Plasma torch required. So it looks like we're finally getting that thing. Plasma torch. What the hell was that noise? I actually. You know, it's kind of funny, given the time that it was made, there's no re reason that it wouldn't be influenced by the alien movies. But I'm... oh wow. Space. That's pretty. But I was recently playing a game you. called... Hey you! Need some help! I need a doctor. Hello? I, I need a... I can't hear you. Hang on. Oh, we're all very well. Come on, I've opened the other thing for you. Oh, well, I don't trust this fucking guy at all. Come on, come. There's no time to lose. 
Uh, but I was playing this game uh, called System Shock 2, which is a really old game from the 90s. Um, and it was it's set on like a space station like this. I keep moving slowly and carefully. Uh, and it's, even though it's an old game, and it's uh, not aged well in some parts, it's really intriguing. The door. The locked everything down. Use the vent. It's really intriguing how uh, how atmospheric it was, and so I was thinking the last couple episodes. I wonder what game this game reminded me of, and it's that. Although there was no alien in that. Actually, now that I think about it, there were aliens, but I won't uh, talk too much about that because I think I might actually play that on the channel at some point. Um, but hey, teaser for you to look forward to, I guess. I like how they're giving me some more ammo back, even though it's very little. Yes, yeah, so I don't... whoever this is, I don't trust him at all. And this is a long-ass elevator. A long-ass tunnel. It's always funny when you have vents that are designed by video game designers, because how would this efficiently move air through a space station at all? Like, like this was designed with transport in mind. Another elevator. This section actually a lot is reminding me of System Shock with the elevators and the cramped feeling of it all. It's very claustrophobic almost. Keycard required. Well, I don't have a keycard, so that's fine. You're not catching us at our best. Right. Who the hell are you? And why the hell do you keep leading me along? Is this is this the Apollo, the AI that's in charge of the station? All right. Well, I'm gonna save just because I don't see a reason not to. Wait, <laughs> are we still recording? Yeah, we're still recording. Oh, okay. Maybe he's not an AI. Coolman. Coolman. I need to find a doctor. I'm a doctor. My friend needs help. Medical supplies. Me too. There are no supplies on this level. But there are plenty downstairs in the hospital dispensary. How do we get there? We? Do I look like I'm in any fit state? I need your help, and you need mine. You find the passcode for the service elevator, and then I'll come down to the hospital with you, okay? Passcode? Yeah. I can direct you from here. Morley or Lingard would have had the new passcode. Morley's office is your best bet. <laughs> Great, fantastic. Another goose ch to chase. Into the butthole. Now the fact that all the doors are locked and my only option is to go into the butthole vents actually makes me much more nervous than if I didn't have that option. Because these vents just feel like they'd have an alien in them. Oh boy. Roses are red. Violets are blue. I am not fucking comfortable with this, are you? Blasting cap. And another ID tag. November. Does that say May Pickle? Actually, it clearly says something with like an R, but... It'd be funny if it said Pickle. Never sleep pills. Fast-acting endurance supplement. Who wants to never sleep? Like, I don't like sleeping that much. But who wants to never sleep? I'm aware that it's necessary. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? Oh, well, I'm not comfortable with this in the slightest. S. Baba Booey. 
Oh, this is back here, right? Oh, that's just that guy. Psychiatric ward. I just realized there's a big old green button. I think I might have just taken a completely unnecessary detour. Oh. <laughs> Fuck this. You can mutual benefit the fuck away from me. Like, he just smells like a creep. I don't know if... Okay. Keep moving. The area you're in was for our more unstable patients. Those who had trouble adapting to deep space. Just tell me where to go, Cole. Tragic cases. Don't worry, they're all long gone. Yeah, so there were just people that just didn't like space and your answer was to lock them in a psych ward? Christ on a bike. Like, come on. We don't take kindly to be left out of the loop, Morley. You hear me? I tried to use the dispensary today and found I was locked out. I can't possibly be expected to carry out my duties if you and Lingard cut my access privileges. I have patients who will relapse without that medication, particularly when things on the station are so precarious. I will not see patient care suffer. Consider this a formal warning. And for the record, I do not have a problem. Coleman, out. Well, that sounds fun. No, no, wrong way. You know what, buddy? I'll be honest with you. I'll decide which way is the right way. I want to explore. And if that means I get my entire butthole devoured by an alien, that's just the way it's going to have to be. Yeah, this is not... This is just a... This is just you fucking terrifying. That's just fun. Tragic, tragic cases. Far from the rhythms of Earth, sunrise, sunset, the mind has a tendency to wander. Tragic cases. But Morley wasted far too much time on coddling them. They should never have come here. None of us should. Yeah. Even though that one audio log that I just got sort of like painted him in an all right light. This guy is still just creeping me out, man. Oh yeah, fuck you too, creepy ass lights. It's nice to finally get some extra SCJ, SC, they are called SCJ injectors, right? I haven't been making an ass of my, yeah, they're SCJ injectors. I thought I was making an ass of myself this entire time. Also... Yeah, this has been a really good game so far. But whenever you go into an area... In these games... That's a mental hospital in a horror game. Even though it's the alien that's the evil one. It's like... Something just doesn't feel right about the portrayal of the mental heal. Like, you have to do it really, really well for it to not be just kind of off-putting, you know? Of course, I'm not exactly an expert on these things, but... I do feel like some more empathy is often what the doctor actually ordered. I don't know if I should be running around. I probably shouldn't. That scared me. Uh, I probably shouldn't be. But also at the same time, I'm not... I'm only slightly sure where to go. <laughs> I guess I have to come down here. That's right. Along that corridor. Yeah, and he's just giving me all the wrong vibes. Also, while even though I like them giving me more revolver ammo... 
it's not gonna do shit against the alien, so, you know, what's exactly is the point? Master Hacker? You're there. That's Morty's office. The passcode should be in there somewhere. Oh, uh, the alien is definitely about to come for me. Right as soon as I pick up the passcode and I'm gonna have to hide in that closet. Compound B. But I know how video games work. Low on meds, Dr. Lingard, we need more supplies of mood stimulants up here. Uh, we're getting really low and it doesn't help that Coolman seems to be handing them out like candy. Logs show he's been to the dispensary 16 times this week. We need to start rationing medications. The Fast of all's people are only going to need these more and more the closer we get to shutdown. Can you talk to Coolman? Find out where the pres prescriptions are going. Have you found the passcode? Look, we'll need the physical keycard too. Morley always kept it on him. Find him. Uh, San Cristobal, uh, medical facility quarantine active, entrance to primary. Medical facility quarantine breach detected. Warning. Relax. Medical facility I'm just trying to find out what that is. You focus on finding that keycard. Shit. Okay, fine, we'll keep reading. Uh, Universal Facility Passcode is 1702. Better or worse, the white for bear to arms followed us. For better or worse, uh, the right to bear arms followed us into colonial space, alone, vulnerable, and light years from law enforcement. Who could deny our voyagers a way to defend themselves, their ships, and their families? The flip side of this argument is Sevastopol, where gun crime is rampant, endlessly turning circles in a neglected corner of space. Its people are downbeat and disconsolate. Those who could afford to leave did so years ago, abandoning friends and neighbors among empty stores, creaking systems, and the forgotten dreams of the deep space economic boom. Sevastopol's people feel deceived, tempted here by corporations that refuse to recognize the deep space bubble was about to burst. They are angry, desperate, and increasingly divided. Recent colonial marsh colonial martial clampdowns on the black market have increased resentment. Every day feels as if the station is edged a little closer to free fall. Okay, so code is 1702 but we still need to find the keycard which doesn't appear to be in here. Oh god, there's the alien. Okay. Okay. Is it coming for me? I don't really think I had any other place to go, but... Back here. beeping faster and faster. Oh, great. This is just fine. Everything is cool. Emotionally, this doesn't devastate me. We'll just be quiet. It's over to the right of us. We'll just assume that it's dumb as rocks and that we're going to be the smartest and most capable. It doesn't appear to be near me right now. Yeah, that wasn't Morley in there. Morley in me. Enter passcode. Uh, one. 
Fuck. Okay. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Please be dumb as rocks. 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 Ah uh, shit. <laughs> you know that wasn't as scary as Oh fuck. I'm Coleman. Ripley, I need to find a doctor. I'm a doctor. I that lost more help. progress than I thought supplies. I did. Me too. There are no supplies on this level. But there are plenty down well, See y'all in a minute. How do we get there? Can't actually skip the thing. I thought I might have been able to skip ahead if I knew the code ahead of time. Yeah, this time we're gonna use the savey do that's right here. Because that way we won't lose anywhere near as much progress. Alright. Medical facility quarantine breach detected. Warning. Medical facility quarantine breach detected. You focus on finding that keycard. Shit. Alright. Man, that is an ugly motherfucker. Alright. Now hopefully he didn't hear me. Because he's right there. He or she. We're just gonna sneak along and everything's going to be fine. One, seven, zero, two. We're safe inside these fucking lockers. All I know is that I hear it moving around out there. And the musical stings get louder. So I know it's relatively close. It's right in front of me. Go away. Okay, it's apparently decided that it just sort of wants to chill right around by my right ear. So I'm beginning to think it wants to tell me that I have an ear infection. Motherfucker. That one got me. I don't know what I was supposed to do there. Maybe I could have found a better hiding spot. Here. Take a fucking noisemaker. Try that on for size, you big bubble blonde baby. Doesn't even look like there's anything in here. 
Can I make another one of these? I can. That's a good thing. More silent. I wish that I could see more of my movement tracker whilst I was hiding. motion tracker makes noise that the alien can hear. Okay. It makes noise getting in and out of the thing, doesn't it? I think I must have... I think it must have gone into a vent. Please, dear god, let's have lost it at least a little. This is where we're supposed to be. Ooh, guitar. Sweet. Morley. Morley. Oh, great. Investigate rooms on his rounds. Fuck you. Oh, sh shit. How in the fuck did it not see me? It fucking hissed at me. It's standing there. You know, emotionally I'm unwell. Yeah, blow his ass up. No. Get the fuck away from me. Fuck you, you big gangly motherfucker. I didn't even know I could go under these. It's just walking around me. 
If you're gonna kill me, just get on with it already. My, my, what dainty legs you have. Look at that alien, he's got feminine hips. Walk, walk, fashion, baby, work it, move that bitch crazy. Walk, walk, fashion, baby, work it, move that bitch crazy. Is he leaving? Did I get so lucky? I'll be goddamn buttered and dipped. <laughs> Facility management. Oh, great. I'm absolutely not. Ooh, let's hide again. No? Okay. Alright. Just... Following my thing. Room A28. I was supposed to memorize which rooms he was supposed to go to, right? Wasn't I? I mean, logically, it'll be whichever one's furthest away. I didn't memorize which rooms he went to at all. Really should have. Unfortunately, I'm a big silly. What the fuck is that? Oh gosh golly, this is scary. It's also scary how much I'm probably gonna have to edit this down. Okay, well y'all saw that, right? So he's definitely in here with me. Motherfucker. Okay. Well, this is fine. Everything about this is emotionally fine. Y'all are alright? I'm alright too. Ah, oh, motherfucker. That door's opening. Why do the automatic doors open up for the aliens? Bite me. That's the idea. I hope your fucking tail gets caught in the door. Dumbass. Yeah. Movement tracker definitely makes noise. Like noise that the alien can hear. I thought it only made noise that I could hear. Yeah, he's standing right out there. Could you make up your mind already? Did I check in here? I checked in here already. Ah! 
Ah, fuck. Ah, oh, man. So, unfortunately, I believe that's all the time I have for today. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe, any of which would mean the world to me. Um, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a good one.